Hello all, here with another summary for our Forbidden Ambitions, a Houses of the Bloody campaign. No. So, the group concluded that the Count Ozin was not the actual victim, but Tula, a sorcerer's creation to look like a person. They eventually informed the Vashna of this and decide what to do. It was eventually discussed that the Vashna would take Baron Brandt away. They will gather whatever else they can that he is a sorcerer and have him punished by the Senate. Since there was no actual murder, the tension seemed to alleviate. Avwell Tivens brought Aiden Steele to the party. Still going on the assumption that Aiden had killed him then, though without Count Ozen's testimony and Baron Brandt proving to be obviously a despicable person, it was let go. The art gallery was opened and dinner was served. At dinner, at one of the tables, many conversations happened. One in particular involved Isla after being cornered by Margrese, as well as Eric. Um, ended up sharing a moment with Lena. They shared drugs. They got very drunk and very high. Um, as they sat with the Countess Alun, uh, many things, you know, continued to happen, but the two of them went off. They stole a painting. They fell into each other in the stables and had an intimate moment. Meanwhile, others planned, planned and plotted and discussed what was learned. We finished up with the back room party opening. After much build up to this, and unbeknownst to the players, a new arrival. And with that, guys, I'll see you next week. The winter party continues with the back room and the hunt. Hopefully, no one dies. Or maybe hopefully. We'll see where the, uh, the wind takes us. But with that, I hope everyone has a great couple weeks. And I'll see you then. Bye for now.